everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another retro review, so an old school figure um, just re-examined in modern times. This one was uh, sent to me by my friend Will in Hawaii uh, very graciously, and I'm super excited for him. Um, this is a really, really cool Qui-Gon. It is from Power of the Jedi. Um, this was in 2000, so we're between uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, and they were doing a little bit more... Kind of doing another branch out to expand the universe a little bit. So talking about uh, probably Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon before they met Anakin. Um, so really cool. You get some, it looks like it's a, it's a training outfit that he's wearing. And it's super cool. I love the photoshopped card here with Qui-Gon's face. Uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, that obviously was not in the movies at all, but it's pretty funny still. And I really do like this card back. I really like the, the Obi-Wan with the Darth Vader. They're trying to incorporate the, the prequel trilogy with the original trilogy with this line of figures. Um, so it's pretty cool. You've got like a little uh, yellow starburst in the background. So it is different from the Power of the Force line. Um, and then of course you get a, a Jedi Force file card, which is also really neat. On the back, you have quite an array of figures. Some really exciting looking ones there on the back. I uh, have a couple of them. And then you can also get 10 Jedi Master Points if you submit the uh, barcode to probably the Star Wars Fan Club or StarWarsKids.com. Um... Just some Jedi, yeah, a little bit of original trilogy, and then throwing it back to the Phantom Menace again. So pretty cool array of figures. I think that's actually a pretty good line. Um, and it is part of Collection 1, um, if that means anything. And then obviously there's a little bit of an advertisement for Star Wars Fan Club and then Star Wars Jedi Quest Kids Club. So that's really, really neat. You see all that information on the bottom there. So let's go ahead and open them up. We'll take a closer look at this super neat Qui-Gon Jinn. Alrighty, so here is Qui-Gon, but before we go on to him, I do want to show the accessories he comes packaged with. So he does come with a lightsaber. It's probably going to look really pretty yellow in the video. It's rather light green, so definitely on the more yellow side. And the hilt is really, really nicely detailed. We have red, black, and silver detailing. It looks like Qui-Gon Jinn's. You could pick it out from a stack and know which Jedi it belongs to, so I do appreciate that. Detail on the handle is something that I've kind of missed in this newer generation. Um, a little bit sad that they've kind of gone to the wayside with coloring and lightsaber hilts that bothers me. And then here's his the Jedi Force file card, which is pretty cool. A really handy thing to have around before you could just go searching on the internet for information. Um, this was probably super cool to keep in like a little filing thing um, that has all of the info. It's got allies, it's got gear skills, text, uh, statistics, adventures, aliens, and enemies, and a little bit about Qui-Gon Jinn and his vital statistics. So it's actually really cool. I've always really appreciated this kind of paper information. Um, it just gives some really fun things uh, to look at. And again, they've got another picture of him running from an explosion photoshopped in this outfit. That's so funny that they did that. Uh, but I do like it. I like the effort that they put into it. And every little scene that you see Qui-Gon in, he's got this Jedi training suit, which says the highly complex suit protects its wearer during training by absorbing light, uh, light blaster fire and cushioning blows. Jedi such as Qui-Gon Jinn only put this gear on when training because it slightly restricts their movement. So that's actually really cool. It makes sense that a Jedi would wear maybe Jedi training outfit to help absorb blaster blows when you're practicing, you know, against what have you. Um, so pretty neat. I think that overall it looks really cool. Um, I've just put his lightsaber in his hand there. Uh, but I really like the dark aesthetic. I think that's the big draw for this figure for me is because you just see so many Jedi in tan and light colors that seeing him one in black and a Qui-Gon looks really really cool I really enjoy the high collar um, you still kind of have a tunic you have a little bit of raised shoulders so it almost looks kind of Sith like it's really cool definitely a super fun look and then you have you know Qui-Gon's long hair in the back the face is not actually that bad uh, I won't complain too heavily on the face here it's not perfect of course but it is the year 2000 so you can only get so good Really cool. And he's got his Jedi belt. And then his boots, which also look really, really neat. This actually, I think, evolved from a concept. The concept drawing of Qui-Gon Jinn. But it actually would have been cool to see him wearing this in the movie. I think that's cooler than the Jedi tunic he wore um, that we saw in The Phantom Menace. This one is a cooler outfit, in my opinion. But in terms of articulation, he does have a swivel head, though it's limited by his hair. Um, his arms do go up and down, but they are rather stiff. Um, and then he has some movement around the torso. And then swivel legs. So uh, basic 2000 articulation, nothing super crazy. Um, looks like six points of articulation, so not horrible. Um, he does have kind of a natural pose to him. And I really like the way they did the fabric. They gave it a lot of movement 
even though it's all plastic. So the sculpting on this, I think, is really good in general. So that's Qui-Gon Jinn. He's really cool. I'm super excited to add him. I have the Darth Maul, so I think that these guys are going to look really, really cool together. So anyways, let me know what you think about this Qui-Gon Jinn in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.